disgrace On the edge of flight we embrace Mets at PV, motor spinning fast They take me higher, I'm free at last Whispers in the wind, electric grill Precision crafted, designed to fulfill From the... Squaddy Squad, and welcome back to another review video. Today we are looking at the MEPS Neon 2207 motors, although we're looking at the MEPS Neon motors in a more general terms. We have a specific review of the 2207 1950 KV here on the channel today though. These motors come in various sizes from 2207 to 2306, 25, 5.5 and 22. 03.5 and they range from $9.99 to $17.90 for the 25.05s. They come in neon fluorescent green and neon fluorescent pink and I think they'll all agree they do look pretty stunning. Now I'm going to be brave and I'm going to address the elephant in the room. So we've built this channel on the back of honest no BS reviews and I hope and I think by now that you will all agree that if something was trash that I would call it out as such but there is clearly an elephant in the room because there was an incident last year where MEP sent out motors to everybody with a thousand subs and said look you're a sponsored pilot but you need to put out a positive review you've got to sign this contract and say that you'll only put things out that are positive. And the reason I wanted to address this is people are going to instantly assume, oh, look, Quads has got MEPS motors. He's obviously going to do a positive review because he's forced to. That's not the case this time around. It was indeed the MEPS motor fiasco last summer that caused me to pivot the channel and change direction. But I've spoke to MEP since and we've had conversations about do you want to review these new motors and it's really important that we know that MEP sent them to me for free. They didn't make me sign a contract saying I must give a positive review. They haven't told me anything to say within this review whatsoever and they won't see this review before it goes live on YouTube and I will not remove this review after it goes live and I think that's really important that you guys know that that this isn't just another one of those marketing campaigns like in last summer. I had a long conversation with a MEPS representative and it turns out that as we all suspected the part of Timo if we look at the close-up images and videos it's fair to say that the quality is certainly there whether lo the longevity is there or not i don't know i'm not a pilot that is going to crash in a bando a hundred times a day so i don't know if that level of longevity is there i can only review them as i fly them i'm not somebody that crashes very often i didn't crash with them when i was testing so take that as you may um and if that's a problem then i can only apologize but this is an honest review and there is none of the bs that happened last year within this review. We've got, to, obviously, we've had a look at some really close up detailed views of the motors and it's undoubted that they look stunning. They look like the quality. But the question is really, how do they fly? Burning the limit, sometimes it's a scare. Bells that ring and chimes that tell. Now I've done around 20 flights with them. Um, all pretty much full throttle in every single one of them. Um, I'm getting around about five minutes per pack on a diatone roma with an akk 5 watt vtx and a t motor stack i haven't actually weighed it but it's also got an action camera as well so it's not a light quad it's probably around about 700 grams i'd estimate roughly give or take a little bit because the, the diatone was quite light but i'm getting easily five minutes of hard flying time the response is good the response is smooth i've got no complaints when it comes to performance whatsoever performance really isn't an issue with them in the condition and the state that they're in but like i said the only questions long term are are longevity i think the the other thing as well is at nine dollars 99 per motor and i can even bring that price down for you as well in a minute at nine dollars 99 per motor these things are even if they don't have the longevity of a $40 motor, to be fair, cheap enough to replace, they still need to be able to hold up in a crash. We're FPV pilots. We're going to crash. That's what we do. They still need to hold up reasonably well in a crash. But if they don't hold up as well as an expensive motor, they're only 10 bucks. 
and they do look really really nice on a quad there's, there's no complaints they're super smooth they're super responsive they are fantastic budget motors we've got some really good budget motors here that look stunning that perform really well and that for monist are a bit of a bargain quick shout out to our members jedi fpv and barry morgan fpv go join them on the members bench for just 1.99 a month you'll get early access to videos and content and exclusive behind the scenes photos and you'll also get a shout out in every video and um, before we finish and get to the end of this review if i can just ask as well a favor can you like comment share and subscribe this video you might win a tesla Cybertruck V8 if you do. Probably won't, but you might. So as always, the question is, should you buy them? And based solely upon the motors and the performance of the motors themselves, the answer is yes. They're $9. They look stunning. They perform really well. And if the longevity isn't as good as something four times as expensive, you can buy four of them for the same price anyway. So it's a real win. It's a real win for the FPV community. And I hope that MEPS continue along the road that they've moved along. Now, with that said, and with that in mind, I can also offer you an exclusive discount. If you put SQ10, so Squadding Quads 10, so SQ10 into the checkout on MEPSKing.com, you will receive 10% off those motors, which are potentially, if you're going for the 2207s or the 2306s, just $9.99 sense which is a phenomenal price for a lot of motor i'd love to hear your comments down below as to whether or not you're going to buy these motors what do you think they look like are you impressed with the direction that meps have now gone in i'd like to have the debate and the discourse because when things are not spoke about that's when they fester sometimes you've got to bring them to the fore discuss them in order to move forward so Will you be buying them? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you down there. You've all been amazing. I've been Quads and until next time, peace. Oh, Meps of PV, you lift me so high Through the clouds on the edge of the sky With every twist